Welcome to another Strony Milks production. Well, today was a fun day. You could almost go outside without seeing a mask in South Florida. Went to the swimming pool today. All the kids got to play. Not one mask in sight. Not one sneeze or cough or worry work to be found. And it was just a bunch of kids having a good time, enjoying life, being happy, getting some sun rays. It just makes you wonder because, you know, our last flu season was just a miracle, guys. The common cold is gone. It is a freaking miracle. Can you believe it? Before, there was 40 million cases the year before. Last winter, you wouldn't believe it. There was only 1,200 cases reported of the common cold. It's just unbelievable how life works, isn't it? Anyways, I have a couple friends in some morbidly scary industries of employment but I have some mortician friends and I have people that do autopsies okay and what we are finding is that these autopsies they're not being completely done a lot of times these people are being cremated and they're not getting a full autopsy. And yes, a lot of them have took the Jabba Dabba Do into their arm. So Jabba Dabba don't. Don't do it. A lot of these people are young people. People you wouldn't expect. Certainly people that wouldn't die of the baloney virus. Okay? So young people are getting this thing into their arm. The sting. And they are being stung. Lady, 25. Pulmonary. Her heart just freaking blew up. And she was in decent health. She had the stinger only a few days before. And the next thing you know, she's being laid on an autopsy table. A lot of these people, they're not being registered as dying from the stinger so the various reports that you're seeing are not authentic at all the numbers that we were seeing people think that it's only about five ten thousand deaths but it's certainly much higher than that because we know that all these deaths are being labeled as something else a lot of it you won't believe it we're having 25 year old people with heart attacks and they're being called dying of natural causes and then boom they get cremated they're not getting a full autopsy this is happening a lot and I really don't want to say any more about this because I don't want to get my friend in trouble now I have also a few mortician friends and they're telling me you know what these past couple years before the quack scenes rolled out uh, we weren't really seeing any elevated numbers compared to years past for cremations and for burials we we're pretty much seeing the same figures but once the quack scenes rolled out the numbers have exploded so you can do your own research there and you can find out in your city how many cremations there have been to past years and you'll see what does that mean for us in the future of humanity are you ready for the darkest days are you prepared mentally a lot of people are prepared physically or not prepared mentally and vice versa prepared mentally but not physically so you definitely got to get yourself ready on a spiritual, mental, and physical level for what's coming. It's going to be trying times, trying days. There might not be enough strong people in your neighborhood to pull out the bodies. You might be asked to help. You might be scared to touch a body that's no longer full of life. I've debated, I've wondered, I was like, you know, should I get a property out in the countryside and just try to get away from it all right now? 
or should I wait a couple years and just kind of wait for the property prices to go all back down again? Because there'll be a lot of abandoned properties and places. I hope I am totally wrong. I wish I can come back here and y'all can just laugh at me. You got the quack scene into your arm and say, ah, ha, 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 Strive Nukes. You were totally off on those numbers. We're all still around. We're all happy. We're, we're having babies. I would be thrilled. I'd be so glad I can see some of the people that took the quack scene into their arm have healthy babies. I would be totally relieved. Hopefully five years from now, I see we see this happening. But doubt. I have my doubts and for legitimate reasons. I mean, obviously, the person there are pushing eugenics just a few years ago, thinking that they need to lower the population numbers by 15%. And now they just miraculously, they just want to just save us all of a sudden with the quack scenes. It just doesn't add up, man. It's just so scary how they're pushing this all on people, giving all these donuts. Donuts for the Jabba Dabba. Uh, what else? They're giving out free guns in West Virginia. You get a free gun. Well, how about that? You can get a free gun if you just get that Jabba. They are offering to reduce prison sentences into half if they take the quack scene this probably deserves its own video really important when you break it down why would they be offering violent criminals reduce their sentences to half that's pretty enticing isn't it but you know what they found they were actually giving many of these prisoners a higher dose of the quack scene. They were testing it on them to see what would happen. Maybe they just wanted to make sure that they wouldn't be able to continue their violent acts out on the streets. But I can tell you that's very enticing to criminal element. They'll say, okay, I'll do it. And a lot of them did it. And they're suffering and they're paying for it right now. They're targeting minorities. Oh, you get to go to a free rap concert. Or they're targeting the rock and rollers. Oh, come see Foo Fighters. Yeah, Foo Fighters. You can only come to our concert if you got the quack of do in your arm. And they're targeting, you know, people that love basketball and football. Hey, get front row seats. They're targeting minorities, they're targeting people that love the NBA. They say, hey, look, we're going to give you better seats. You can only come if you've got the quackadabadoo in your arm. And these people are eating it up. Let me tell you, they are going for the bait. It's sad. You know, this is some serious fishing with the lures, and they are all catching. Nobody's cutting bait. It's all catching. There's no release. You're just getting thrown into the frying pan. I ran into some old friends, and they they took the bait too. And I'm not trying to scare them. You know, they already took it. I'm not going to try to convince them because I don't want them to think, oh, I brought on their illness or whatever. I don't want to screw up their mentality. If they're feeling good, hey, I, I'm just going to leave them the hell alone. You know, I'm going to try to be a friend and look out for them. I'm going to be there. I had a friend told me today I haven't seen him in years. Somebody I really respect and admire, and his family's looked out for me and before in the past. And he told me, he's like, look, I was scared to get it too. Think about some of the shit we done when we were younger, and we didn't know what was in those drugs. So why not do this? And I'm like, uh, okay. I didn't say nothing, man. And, you know, he's got a good head on his shoulders, but you're going to find a lot of people like that, very smart people that took the bait. I, sh I hope I am wrong. I hope I am so wrong. Please. Please, I hope I am wrong. Because if even 20% of what I'm saying is correct, we're in for really rough times ahead. And what can you do when somebody's already took the bait?